Hello children. So today's question which we have taken up is how is the direction of magnetic field at a point determined using the field lines? Next, why do two magnetic field lines not cross each other? So let us first come to the first part of the question. That is how is the direction of magnetic field at a point determined using the field lines? So first let me write down the answer. The direction of the magnetic field lines at a place can be determined using a compass needle or a magnetic needle. The North Pole of the needle indicates the direction of the magnetic field at the point. Okay. So it means that if we take a bar magnet and this is the north and south pole of the bar magnet, then the magnetic field lines originate from the north pole and ends in the south pole. So if we keep a magnetic needle here, if we keep a magnetic needle or a magnetic compass here, then this would be the direction of the north pole. So this would indicate us that in which direction the magnetic field is going. Okay. So this is the first part. Now the second part is why do two magnetic field lines not cross each other? So the answer is they do not cross each other as it would indicate two directions of magnetic field lines at that intersection point which is impossible. Which is impossible. It means that if these are the two field lines and they are crossing each other now we know that these magnetic field lines are drawn using the magnetic compass or the magnetic needle. Now if we keep the magnetic compass here, it would mean that it is simultaneously pointing in this direction. Also it is pointing in this direction. Two direction it is showing. But this cannot happen. So the magnetic field lines do not cross each other because there is only one magnetic field and because of that the alignment of the needle will be in only in one direction and not two directions. So that is why it is impossible. Thanks.